of the year and the beginning of a new one used to be something that put me into full-on organization mode in about every category you can think of. My home, my eating habits, my upcoming school schedule, my job, my email inbox, my whole life. Filling out my new planner was my obsession between Christmas and New Year's Eve. This excitement was partnered with extreme anxiety for what was to come and what needed to be accomplished in the following year. But slowly, as I've grown into myself and have checked infinite to-dos off of some abstract lifelong list in my brain, I've learned that I like to take this transition a little more slowly. My productive new year doesn't start right away. I like to give it a little time, ease into it, let myself plan and prepare and linger. I've said this before, but it feels like this property that needs so much healing and is going to require so much work is healing me at the same time. As we offer this piece of land a new chance, new life, slowly pick away at the trash and invasive species, this land offers us an infinite amount of experiences as well. It offers us the excitement for a beautiful garden every new year. It offers us peace in the forest from worries and it calms my anxious thoughts. It offers fresh air. I'm making an effort this year to do something that has always been one of my favorite things to do ever since I was a child, to get out in the woods and just wander. I'll walk the same paths I've walked a dozen times and I'll discover new paths. I'll peek into the dilapidated structures that litter our property in hopes of finding new treasures to pull from the rubble. I'll slow down and I'll pause more. I'll take it all in. I won't take for granted the accessibility to the outdoors I have here, since it's something I've yearned for for nearly a decade since I last had access to this kind of uninterrupted freedom to wander in the forest. As we bring this land back to life, our responsibilities here will shift and grow. We'll spend infinite hours in this garden and orchard, working towards our goals of growing so many different kinds of food. We'll spend time caring for our animals and simply enjoying their presence. Spring and summer will always be busy and bustling times of each and every year, both indoors and out. If we're lucky, fall will always bring an abundance of fresh produce to tuck into corners of our home and happily consume throughout the winter and sustain us so we can continue to enjoy these long wanders around our land. It's fun to think about how much has already changed for our lives here. Our routines are still not quite what you'd call routine. We're still figuring this whole thing out, not necessarily just how to do things, but how to do them in a way that works best for us and supports our limited time wisely. As the garden productivity waned this year, our focus shifted to our birds. We've put so much time and care into building them a lovely, functional home. And although we're not quite finished yet, it's finally to a point where it's more maintenance than construction. A breath of relief was most definitely taken when we reached that tipping point. Some of our ladies have begun to give us up to six eggs a day now, and we're so grateful for those little colorful gifts every time we open the nesting box doors. We're sure the rest of them will begin their laying so very soon too. Our ducks have been enjoying a life of free ranging the property during the day, preparing themselves to be orchard ducks in no time. The garden still feels like a magical place, even with little to no green life in it at the moment. It's still a sanctuary and a place where we're dreaming up some of our biggest plans for the future of our homestead. I'm sure if you looked around at our property through certain lenses, all you'd see is mountains of trash, quite literally, and be deterred from imagining its potential. It'll take a long time to get this piece of land transformed into a positive state and it will take even more effort on our part. I think that's part of why we ended up here. I'm nothing if not great at seeing the unseen, painting a picture of what could be. And goodness, are there so many possibilities here. As January passes and the new year becomes not so new anymore, our to-do lists will grow longer yet again, as that's just the flow of the season. But January will always come back around and there will again be an opportunity for a grounding, crisp, winter walk around this ever-changing property that we call ours.